Hey guys, come on downstairs. We're playing the little Minnesota Twins franchise. It's games 157 through 159 of year number three. And it's episode 158 here. We are beginning the final homestand of the season. We have six games. First off, a three-game set against the Tigers of Detroit. And we have a chance to clinch the American League Central Division. All we need is one win in this three-game series. Let's start off with the first game, game number 157 on the season. Tigers at 78 and 78. We are 83 and 73. The starting lineups are as such. Iglesias, Fowler, Castellanos, Upton, Kinsler, Mean Dean, Green, Charlie Christian, Jurickson, Profar, and John Hicks. For the Tigers, we're going to go with Myers, Piscotti, Nunez, Snow, Valbuena, Rosario, Mazzarocco, Peterson, and Byron Buxton out in center field. Anibal Sanchez will take the hill for the Tigers, 14 and 11. 3.14 ERA, 180 strikeouts to 60 walks, and a 1.23 whip. We will oppose him with Alex Meyer, making start number 32. He's 10 and 11, a 3.60 ERA, 166 strikeouts to 29 walks, and a 1.14 whip for Meyer. We go to the second inning now, get highlights started off here with the Tigers catcher John Hicks looking for his first hit of the season, a September call up, and he will swing and miss at the slider off the plate, stranding a pair of runners. And the score is still tied. We go to the third inning now. Dexter Fowler batting 280. Nobody on, one out, and Dexter Fowler is going to crush this one to right field. That one is into the stands, and the Tigers trying to keep their season alive. They need a sweep here in Minnesota if they're going to do it. One win, and the season is over for Detroit. Steven Piscotti now with the Twins trailing one to nothing. Bottom of the third inning. Tying run is at third base, and Piscotty's going to drive this one to right field. But Charlie Christian is there to make the catch and retire the side. Tigers still lead one to nothing at the end of the third. We go to the fifth. Stephen Piscotty at the plate once again in a big situation. Two on, two outs, and Piscotty's going to ground it up the middle. Tigers will go the short way. Iglesias on to Ian Kinsler for the out. And at the end of five, it's still one to nothing. Detroit with the lead, sixth inning. Miguel Sano, 0 for 2, two strikeouts on the day. In a little bit of a slump, sitting on 31 home runs. And Sano is going to break out of the slump with a solo blast to right field. And that will tie the score in the bottom of the sixth. It's a brand new ball game. Three innings left to play. A Twins win would clinch the American League Central Division. Jimmy Dyer making appearance number 43. He's facing Nicholas Castellanos. And Castellanos grounds it to the right side. Jace Peterson diving play on to Will Myers for the out. And in the middle of the eighth inning, Tigers and Twins all tied up at one. Paul Volker on the pitch for the Tigers. This is his first appearance on the year. Tough situation to be cast into. Facing Miguel Sano, who's already homered on the day, and Sano is going to lift this one to right field, and that one he got just underneath it. Dexter Fowler is there, and he will put it away. We go to the ninth inning, all tied up at one. And on for Detroit will be Joe Jimenez, 5-5 five and five, a 3.67 ERA. Luis Valbuena on to face him. 291, 35 home runs. Full count. And Valbuena is going to drive it to right field. Charlie Christian coming in. Dives can't make the play. And Valbuena is going to be running for days. He is not the fastest runner, though. And he will end up at second. About anybody else on the team would have ended up at third. Raymel Tapia into pinch run. He represents the American League Central Division clinching run out there at second base with two outs and Jace Peterson at the plate. Peterson to left field and Upton can't make the play. And Raymel Tapia is going to come around to score. And in year number three, we are going to taste the postseason for the first time here in Minnesota Twins franchise. We clinch the American League Central Division. Alex Meyer goes six and a third, giving up four hits and one run. We get the win two to one, and the American League Central Division is ours. 
We lead the Tigers by six games with five games to play. So, Tigers and Indians both mathematically eliminated, and we will be in the American League Division Series. All that's left is to decide whether or not we will have home field advantage and which of the three American League East teams we will play. It could be the Yankees, Red Sox, or the Blue Jays. They are all still fighting for the American League East. So we move into game number two of this series. And uh, after clinching the division, we are going to give most of the starters a rest today and play mostly September call-ups in this game. Although we are still fighting for home field advantage, we're just going to give everybody the day off in this one. And then we will bring the starters back in the season finale against the Tigers. Kyle Gibson will start for us. We have the chance to set up our playoff rotation. And uh, Kyle Gibson is going to be the game one starter. So we'll let him have the start today. Put him on about a 70 pitch pitch count. And he should be ready to go for game one of the postseason against the AL East champion. So we start off with a 2 to nothing lead at the end of the second inning. We go to the fourth inning now. Charlie Christian at the plate for the Tigers with a runner on third and two outs, and Charlie Christian's going to lift this one to right field. And I believe that's Max Kepler there who makes the catch. And that retires the Tigers in the fourth. Still 2 to nothing, Minnesota. We move to the fifth. This is our top prospect, Mario Calero. He's batting 125 on the year. Runner on second with one out, and Mario Calero drives it up the middle for a base hit, and he's going to get his first major league RBI. And our lead increases to 3 to nothing at the end of the fifth. So our September call-up's doing a pretty good job here. Carlos Frias, a 9.58 ERA, and he's going to be facing... Uh, big, mean Dean Green, the first baseman for the Tigers, taking the place, um, taking the place of me, uh, Miguel Cabrera. Sorry, for some reason Miguel Cabrera's my uh, name just slipped my mind there. Uh, Miguel Cabrera, who is on the DL, and Dean Green drives in a run for the Tigers. Michael Tonkin now facing Ian Kinsler. Kinsler's batting two seventy with twenty home runs. With a runner on third and two outs, and Kinsler grounds it up the middle, gets past the diving second baseman for the Twins. Run comes in to score. It's 3-2. to two. And here is Charlie Christian for the Tigers. And he's going to rip this one into right field. It is down for a base hit. Gets all the way to the wall. One run will come in to score, and that ties the game at three. The trailing run is going to be thrown out of the plate, though. A nice relay by Mario Calero. He's a really good defensive first baseman. And we are all tied up at three. Going to the bottom of the inning, Michael Fulmer is on for the Tigers. Robert Jones in to face him. The shortstop is over three on the day with runners on second and third and two outs, and Robert Jones is going to slap it past Jose Iglesias at short. One run comes in to score, and it's 4-3 to three Minnesota at the end of eight. We go to inning number nine now. JT Chargua on for us, a 2.30 ERA. He is going to come in to try to earn the save. Dexter Fowler at the plate with two outs and a tying run on second. And Fowler's going to line it to right field. Max Kepler is there. And the Twins win their second game in this three-game series. 85th game of the season. Twins improved 85 and 73. They lead the season series over the Tigers. 11 to 7. Emilio Bonifacio goes 2 for 5 with a double for us. Mario Calero 2 for 4 with an RBI. And Michael Tonkin picks up the win. JT Chargois picks up his third save of the season. And we go to the final game of this three game series. Final game of the year against the Detroit Tigers. They are going to go with Jurix and Profar, Iglesias, Castellanos, Upton, Kinsler, Fowler. Dean Green, Charlie Christian, and Salta Lamacchia. We're going to go with Myers, Piscotti, Nunez, Sano, Rosario, Valbuena, Mezzarocco, Peterson, and Bonifacio. Pretty much the everyday starting lineup, except for Bonifacio in center field instead of Byron Buxton. Shane Green will make the start for the Tigers, a 3.92 ERA, 1.28 whip. We're going to go with Jose Barrios, 
a 4.01 ERA in 121 and a third innings on the season. He's given up 121 hits. So we're going to get things started off in the second inning. We're undecided right now on whether or not to go with a three- or four-man pitching rotation in the postseason. If we go with a four-man rotation, it could be Jose Barrios. Or Jose De Leon, one of the two. Eddie Rosario in the bottom of the first inning. A three-run home run for the Twins. And we jump out to a 3-1 to lead here in the fourth. Dean Green, 423 average. He's a September call-up. With a runner on third and nobody out, Dean Green flies this one deep into left field. Eddie Rosario is there. He makes the play. Runner tagging is going to come across to score. And the throw will be cut off. Middle of the fourth inning, Twins lead 3-2. to two. We go on to the bottom of the fourth now with a runner on third and Jace Peterson at the plate. Here's the delivery, and Jace Peterson lines it right back up the box. And it's 4-2 to two Twins. At the end of the fourth. We turn the page to the sixth. Tyler Chatwood making his first appearance in a while for us, a 4.780 RA. He is facing Charlie Christian, who's batting 260 on the season. With a runner on third and one out, Christian with a chance to drive in a run. He's going to line it to deep center field. Emilio Bonifacio is there, and the run's going to score easily, cutting the Twins' lead to 5-3 to three in the middle of the sixth inning. We go to the eighth inning now. Josh Turley on for the Tigers. Making his third appearance. He is also a September call-up. And we've got Dean Green in the box now facing Chatwood. And Dean Green with the ground ball to the left side. Run will come in to score and we'll, we are all tied up at four in the eighth inning. So middle of the eighth, all tied up at four. And now uh, this is where I was supposed to show you that Josh Turley was pitching for the Tigers. Turley's still in there. And Luis Valbuena drives it over the head of Charlie Christian in right. And we are sending the runner home. I believe it's uh, Eddie Rosario. And Valbuena drives in the run, giving the Twins a 5-4 to four lead at the end of the eighth. We're going to go to the ninth now. Bring in Kevin Segrist. He is looking for save number 51. He is still chasing Sam Dyson. Well, he's neck and neck with Sam Dyson for the American League saves lead. With one out, Jerickson Profar drives this one deep to left field and gone. And Kevin Segrist, guys, do we need to be concerned a little bit about Kevin Segrist going into the postseason? He's been money all year long, but in the past two or three weeks, he's blown at least two saves, maybe three. But I can remember two at least off the top of my head. So maybe a reason to be concerned going into the postseason about our closer. Bottom of the ninth inning, though, Kenny Vargas comes on. He splits the gap in right center field. And Vargas, the pinch hitter, is going to end up at second base with a leadoff double. And we're going to bring in Byron Buxton to pinch run. Buxton representing the winning run. Eduardo Nunez at the plate now. A couple batters later with two outs. Buxton's on third now. And Nunez is going to line it to right. Charlie Christian tries to make the diving play. It bounces off of his glove, and Byron Buxton comes in to score the game-winning run. Another walk-off in this series, and another one-run win for the Minnesota Twins. So we sweep the Tigers three games to none in this series. We clinch the American League Central Division, and we win the season series over Detroit 12 games to seven. Mario Calero, another two-for-four day with an RBI. Max Kepler went two-for-four with two runs scored. Brian Kaw went one for three. And let's take a look at the updated American League standings. We have clinched the Central. The Angels and Rangers have both clinched a playoff spot, either the division uh, win or the wild card. Red Sox with a one-game lead on the Blue Jays and a two-game lead over the Yankees going into the final three games of the season. The Rangers have clinched home field in the wild card or the Angels. Either one, whoever ends up there, will be the home team. The Blue Jays and the Yankees fighting for that final playoff spot. In the National League, the Nationals, Cubs, and Dodgers have all clinched their respective divisions. The Pirates have a two-game lead in the wild card over the Cardinals. And the Cardinals and the Phillies are now tied for that fifth and final 
playoff spot in the National League. The Giants are still mathematically alive. Three games behind the Phillies and Cardinals with three to play, but a very slim shot for the Giants to make it. So that is the end of episode number 158. Up next, we have one more episode to close out the season before we head into the year three playoffs here on Minnesota Twins Franchise on Mama's Basement Sports Gaming.